Good morning, everyone. And we have made it through uh, Christmas weekend, but the Christmas season in the Catholic tradition, not over, just beginning. Good morning, Father Pat. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the, um, the weekend that just passed, which was a busy one with both Christmas and uh, also Holy Family um, weekend. Yeah, so it was a it was a, a good weekend, a long weekend, right? Uh, we started on Friday with Christmas Eve and wrapped up on Sunday with the Feast of the Holy Family. So we had three great days of, of celebration. And, you know, it, the our Christmas celebrations were were great. Uh, we're not quite back to, to normal. I'm sure the, uh, the Omicron variant had some effect on that. Uh, I heard, I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I heard there were a lot of people that were watching us over live stream. And so I continue to live stream our, our 1130 mass and our uh, two o'clock mass in Spanish. So, you know, those of you who can't join us live, I do encourage you to continue to. I did announce that um, the Cardinal has, has lifted the, uh, uh, the dispensation from the obligation of Sunday Mass. So starting this next Sunday, January 2nd, um, you are obligated to uh, come in person to Sunday Mass. But even in his announcement, he cautioned that for, for risk, right, they still uh, don't have to come, right? It, it, you know, the Lord isn't requiring you to come if you're sick, requiring you if you have the risk of, of catching. So a disease. So if you still have concerns about COVID, uh, we encourage you to continue to just join us uh, via the via the live stream. Sunday, we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Family. And you know, one of the things in reading that, reading the gospel for this Sunday that I was struck with was the line that uh, how Jesus went back and was obedient to Mary and Joseph. And you know, you think of it, here is Jesus, you know, the Son of God. And He's being obedient. Well, obviously, that's uh, he's following the commandments, right? Uh, to uh, honor your mother and father. But even more so than that, um, obedient. The word obedient comes from uh, the the word uh, to listen, and uh, and so being obedient means to to listen, and 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 that's really what obedience is about, you know, it's when we talk about obedient to Christ, you know, what we're saying is we've got to listen to Christ in his message. My homily on Christmas, I, I talked about how, you know, we often think about the church having all these rules and regulations and all these things we have to follow and all these things we have to be obedient to. But really, uh, Jesus left us just one command, and that one command was to love. As I mentioned, St. Augustine says, the commandment is to love and do what you will. We can do anything we want, but we've got to do it in love. And love is wanting what's best for the other person, wanting what's truly best, you know, objectively, what is best for that other person. And that's why the church has the teachings. That's why Jesus came and taught what it means to love, how to love. That's why he left us the Beatitudes. He left us all of these teachings. That's why through the years, the church has developed teachings based on, on what Jesus said and did uh, to help us to understand how in today's context, we can truly love one another. And, and that's what obedience is all about, is listening to those ways in which we need to truly reach out in love. And we find that when we are obedient, that's when we find that peace. And so my hope for all of you as we uh, finish out this, uh, this year and get ready for the new year is that we will truly find peace on earth, that you'll truly find the, the peace that we're seeking. I know this has been a, a very anxious and stressful year, uh, as the prior year was. We're hoping here for a better 2022, but uh, but we can all achieve that peace, and that is just through our love of one another. So, do want to just wish all of you one more time a Merry Christmas, and 
And also here as we finish out the year, a very happy new year. Thanks to everybody. Father, and just one more reminder, also the office uh, remains closed this week between the uh, the Christmas and, and uh, New Year's holidays, correct? Yeah, the office remains closed. Um, don't forget that uh, New Year's Day is the uh, celebration of the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, normally a holy day of obligation, but this year, since it falls on Saturday, uh, it's not a holy day of obligation, but we'll still have Mass New Year's Eve on Friday at 7 o'clock. We'll have a special mass at 11 o'clock, followed by um, a holy hour, which will include our communal first Saturday uh, devotion prayers. And then on, on New Year's Day, on Saturday, we'll have one mass at 10 o'clock. So come and join us to celebrate the uh, solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Have a good week, Father. We'll talk to you again on Friday. Bye. Bye-bye.